All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Akerele Oluwa Shugo. I'm your data analyst. Today, I'll be teaching you on how to use Power BI. So, introduction to Power BI, which is what we call business intelligence. Power BI is one of the data analytics tools which we can use to analyze our data, especially when you're working on big data. So, uh, things to keep in mind when you are downloading and installing your Power BI. There's, a, there's some things you need to keep in mind when you are downloading or installing your Power BI. So you should know that Power BI is always changing. There's almost every almost every month new release of Power BI. Just all these new release of Power BI almost every month. Secondly, you do not need PowerBI.com account to use a Power BI desktop. So you don't have to create an account before you can start using your Power BI desktop so unless you want to publish or share your report so thirdly so log in to publish or share your work so if you want to share your work with your colleagues or you want to publish your work online that's when you need to log in to share your work so i uh, also today i'm going also to show you the power bi screen the interface when you open your power bi desktop application after you exit the welcome slash screen this is some will call welcome slash screen, which is in yellow color. So you click on the access button to exit from it. So you have this interface. This is what you call your Power BI user interface. I'm going to explain the most the level most important features in the user interface. The first one we have there is called the ribbons. So we have our ribbons where you have your home, your view, your modeling. It's called ribbons. So it's under the ribbons, you have a button called Get Data. This is where you load data into Power BI. This is where you load your data into Power BI. When you click on Get Data, you have a different sources where you can load your data from. We have from Excel, we have from Data, from Power BI Data Set, we have Power BI Data Flow, we have SQL Server, we also have Web, and also have from Text or CSV. So we have different sources where you can load your data from. So we also have the view selector, view selector. This place is called the view selectors, where you can select as report, as data, and as a model. So we also have our 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 tables and feed. When you load your data, it will come under the feed. So you see every part of your data that you have loaded into the Power BI. It's called feed tables and feed. We also have our chart tables map your visualization pane where you have your chart your table and your map we also have our visualization feed and formatting this is where you format your visuals on power bi so from there we also have our filter pins where you can filter your data your report based on criteria where you can filter your report based on the criteria you are giving so we have our report canvas this is our report canvas where you build your visuals a report canvas you can also increase the size of the report canvas it's always in 16 to ratio 9 that's your report canvas it's ratio 16 to 9 that's the size of report canvas we also have our add or change pages on like excel where you have page one page and uh, um, sheet one sheet two but in power bi we use page we have page one you can open another page page two page three like that we also have our published report where you share your report online or you publish it online so it's our call with the public report buttons which on the power bi on the power bi so what are the most important features i've mentioned then your ribbons your get data your view selector your feed your visualizations your visual feed your filters your canvas save your report your Power BI report and also publish. So how do you get data into Power BI? I mean, how do you load data into your Power BI? Like I mentioned earlier on, you click on, on the get data button. After that, you can select Excel as a source. If your report, if your data is in Excel, so you point to the downloaded sample data. So example, we are using sample data. So it will load your data into Power BI. So adding visuals. So working in Power BI feel like playing with your data. It's like playing with your data. This is because of the drag and drop nature of your report building process. So how the visual? How do you add the visuals? You click on the type of visual that you want. So a blank visual will be added to be available 
empty space on your report canvas and you select the free from the data and add them to the relevant places so let's look at the example on this let's go on. so now on power bi let's go and hard visualize and see how it work on power bi so now i've already have my data loaded into the power bi so i have the, my feeds these are all the feed in my data so when you are adding your first visualize it's always good to start from a table first from a table this is our report canvas so i'll go to my visualization pane and click on the table icon when i click on the table icons so i add this my table so what did i want to add in my table i want product to be in my table so when i click on it you can see it come on it's come under the value feed so we have the value feed we have the axis and the legion which is optional so i also want the price for this product so i click on the price so inside the table i have product against the price so uh, you see a button at the bottom so we have the filter so we have the focus mode so click on the focus mode focus mode will enlarge it will enlarge your table so after you have created your table let's go and add my visuals my first visuals i go to the visualization panes so you can be moving your cursor over in and see the different type of visuals i want column chart start column so i click on the start column chart so you can see my visuals i have the product so i also have it in the column chart so you can click on the button back to report so this is my first visuals so i will drag and drop on the cam report canvas so let's create our second visuals in a start back chart so i'll click outside the chart so click on my report canvas go to my visualization panes i click on the table icon so what i want to be in the table now now i want it to be the product i want it to be country i want it to be country against the product so I'm having country and the product so by each of the country. So now I so I've had my table. So I click on my focus mode. So you see the table is being enlarged. What I want to be, so I'll go and pick my visuals. I want it to be a stack bar chart. So I'll click on a stack back chart. So you can see from this place my product is under the legends. So I will drag it to your value. I'll drag it to the value feed so it will show my x and y axis on the chart so you can see i've dragged my so i have count of products so this is my visuals for country and products so this is my second visuals so let me pick the third visuals for the sake of these videos so my third visuals i want it to be in a pie chart so i'll click on my report canvas go to my visualization panes and click on the table icon so my table icon what do i want to be i want it to be the state so i click on the state so i want it to be product state against the product so state against the product so you can see my table I click on the focus mode also to focus on the table. So I will go to my visualization panes and pick a pie chart. So I pick a pie chart and pick a pie chart. So this is the pie chart. So it's not showing very well because my product is under legend. I will drag my product to value. So I'll drag my product to value. So my product is under value this is my pie chart so i'll click back to report so i have my pie my, my pie chart i will arrange my report so the last one for the sake of the example for the sake of the video is a map i want my report to be i want to see the map of how to create a map where we see the country the product the country is selling and the state so i click on my report canvas again i click on the table icon when i click on the table icon what i need to pick i will click on country i want the country i want the product 
for each of the country so now i have the table so i will go to my visualization and look for a map so i click on the map i click on the map so i'll click on the map so what did i want also i want the you can see it's showing the map gradually so i'll click on focus mode So you can see my map i've created my map so what i want to be on the map so i have the product and the country the product on the map i also want the longitude i will take the longitude and also pick the latitude on the map so you can see for each country is shown on the map the latitude and the longitude and the product they are selling you can see it's shown on the map i'll click back on my report Back on my report, you can see I've created my map as a visuals on the Power BI. So that's how to create visuals on your Power BI. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Akere Le Oluwa Shogo.